Hello and hi. Uh, for the past two days, I actually redo my presentation and I, I changed quite a bit of uh, in terms of user interface as well as I simplified uh, how the software should work. Uh, and then I added more details so that you can better understand what I want uh, in the software. All right. Okay. Okay, let's start the presentation for the first one software UI the staff login So basically uh, if I were to open the first page of the software It will look something like this the public can straight away use uh, the software by choosing the units here But if I were if I were a staff if I am a staff at, at my company I'll click the button up here and then I can log in with my username and password So right now I'm logged in something like that and then here I can choose two units I want the software to be able to to work with both units. Uh, okay, it is it is in my description before this, uh, but then I I, I just show it, uh, how I want it translated into the software. So if I were to choose meter, so I have next option available for me. All right. So right now this kind of like the same as before. Um, I use I still use the same LAN uh, data as before. You you may. Uh, you may uh, uh, how do I say um, check the my previous presentation okay so this one uh, I cannot click next until I fulfill all this uh, data here so if I were to uh, fill in this data okay a straight line will appear and then uh, I'll have point B the next point until the it closes the loops and then one the loops closes I can click next so this one is what I want to make change compared to before right now um, before this we choose the primary road and the secondary road I think uh, I don't have to be bothered with which one is primary road which one is the secondary road uh, probably in I want what I want to change is uh, for each line I can choose the boundary here the setback here for each line okay so I will determine uh, for each line what is the setback and the value I can enter whatever value I want so this one in meter because I chose the software to work in the meter in the first place if I were to choose the, so the, uh, the software to work in feet it will show feet here not meter all right so uh, for example for this one if, if I were to um, enter all the setback setbacks into three meter for each of the lines here so now I, I will have setback boundaries of three meters uh, from the the boundary of the land okay like that so uh, the second example if I were to change the AB to six meters the other one AB to change to six meters it will look like this now right now this setback boundary changes okay it's now six meters the other sides will be three meters so if I were to change again A B uh, E A and D E to be six meters, okay, okay, right now A B D E uh, D E and E A to be six meters. Now they are six meters from the the land boundary, and then the other uh, sides will have will remain three meters, okay. But I can I can also change this one. But for the first case, it will be exactly like uh what i wanted before this okay um this gives me more freedom to change the setbacks and uh i don't really have to to care where the primary route or where the secondary route is okay so next i just click next this one is still the same i have to choose setback boundary this uh site to be parallel with so if i were to choose bc so it will be highlighted like this so the left side of the plan will uh will be parallel to this uh, BC setback okay so like that so when I choose this and I click next the software will scan all the available house plans in the uh, database and then it will show me the results so this is the results it's kind of like the results it shows uh, again I just use uh, the same results before 4 out of 50 house plan can fit into the land uh, this is the filter that I want to be able to filter this result so this one show all and I, I want to be able to filter by sort by house story as well as a number of bedrooms. Okay. Now, 
here i have this button here is basically i can choose uh how many plans uh, from the results say for example i just want to email two two plans i just click one and this one so and when i click email they will just send this to okay so uh, and then if i were to select all i select all all will be highlighted and then uh, i i will be emailing all of the plans not just uh, selected uh, plans only okay so this is the result so um the same one again if i were to click this house plan uh, sorry site plan button first site plan button first so it will show like this how the house outlines fit into the setback boundary like that okay so like this so i i know this house fits inside this one uh, at this kind of position uh if i were to go back again to the results now if i were to choose the house plan button here i will get this kind of uh, pictures of my floor plans as well as the perspective views of the house uh, as, okay i think the real software uh, this this picture should be bigger and probably it will be situated um, uh, underneath here and i can scroll it down but then in this one i just want to show okay so if we go back again to the results here i have the folder it will be connected to my uh, dropbox folder for this house this one will be connected to dropbox folder for this house okay so for example if i were to choose this folder okay i'll get this uh, pop up. Uh, that's the the, the um, I mean the the directory of my Dropbox uh, for this particular house plan. All right. So basically, that's it. Mm. Now uh, again, I'll just show a quick show of the algorithm uh, working behind the scene. This all happened in the background. Uh, like I said before, if I were to choose B, C, and left side, this one is the left side, the yellow one yellow is the left side of the house plan uh, that we can define in our database all right so the first thing first um what will happen before before the um the house outline move to scan which area that it can fit basically the the left side of this house the yellow one will be parallel to this uh, line it will be it will be touching this line uh, so um, the house plan will automatically rotate. So this, the front one will actually face be facing this 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 uh, direction. Okay, it will be automatic because I just make sure the left side and the BC the the first thing first they will be uh, parallel. They will be touching before they they scan the area. So it will be automatically rotate. I don't know if you understand this, but but somehow <laughs> um, you have to figure it out, right? Okay. So that one is the algorithm working behind the scene. Uh, this one is the back end, uh, the staff mode, and also the public mode. Okay. Before this, I I show you um, views in the staff mode. Uh, what's the difference between staff and also the public mode? So in the staff mode before, this is the staff mode. Uh, sorry, I just go to the previous one. Okay, the staff mode when I uh, log in, the status will be shown something like this. So in the public mode, uh, they don't need to click anything. Uh, the login uh, within the staff or admin. Uh, so they just can use the software straight away. The difference being, being uh, the results um, that uh, the software showed. For the public mode, okay, the staff mode before this, I have this house plan and folder. Folder is connected to the Dropbox directory. Okay, in the public mode, no folder. They cannot access the Dropbox folder. This one, this button. They don't have it. The public, the public mode. Okay. Uh, also, the difference, uh, the the other difference is the house plan. Okay, when they click the house plan, uh, in the staff mode, in the staff mode, they will. Uh, when they click here, they will only get uh, in the staff mode. They, I will get the uh, floor plan as well as the uh, couple of 3D views like this. The view, the perspective view of the houses, the house. Okay. 
in public mode when they click the house and they try to print they will be will, will be only be showed the floor plan and only one perspective of the house so that's the difference this one i will have as many uh, as many views of the house and this one i only have one view of the house okay and the last difference uh, for this result is they only have print option they don't have the email option that the staff mode has okay the staff can email and print they, they cannot email and print they only can print only okay uh, right and then in the when they enter this one like i said before this when they click on the house plan all right this one it will be only shown uh, one picture of the house in the public mode in the staff mode i have a couple of pictures of the house again when they enter this kind of mode, they can only print uh, in the staff mode. Uh, they can we can email and also print, so the public can can just print. That's it. So that's that's the only difference between the the public and also the staff mode. So the back end, uh, the admin login, uh, admin mode. If I if I may, the admin mode. Um, I probably have to click this. Uh, I don't know if you have any other kind of like uh, location or better UI you may suggest. But uh, to put things simply, I can click in the admin mode. I, I don't. I don't have any UI here. I just. I just made uh, some sort of explanation here for the admin mode. When I click uh, login into admin mode, will enter into admin panel. In the admin panel. Uh, admin only admin can add edit and delete staff login so if i am admin i will be you know i will be distributing passwords to my staff i, I will i will give them a uh, login or if if i cannot define their password i can delete them uh, i can reset them something like that so for each staff so when the staff quit the job so i can delete their login credentials so uh, that's the, the purpose of this admin mode okay the second one only admin can add edit and delete ha a house plan in the database uh, so uh, only i can uh, add the plan in the database uh, and then the, the other features yeah, there are probably one is probably has forget password i think it's, it's probably standard in term of uh, you know how this it function so probably if i were to to forget my password i can reset password so that that's the only thing the difference Okay, so this is the suggested house plan database input. Uh, still the back end. Uh, this is will be located in the admin panel, something like that. So in the admin panel, if I were to add new plan, these are the points that I need uh, to be able to fill into. Okay, the first one is the plan name. Uh, it's just the, the name of the plan. Uh, like before, I have like B1-001A, something like that. So I can put it here and then the house story, it will be a drop down menu, house story, three choices, one story, two story, and three story and up. And then the draw house outline. Okay, they, I will explain this in the next page, the draw house outline. So now I have floor plan pictures. I have to upload a JPEG photo of the floor plan. Uh, this um, floor plan will be shown in the results. Okay, upload floor plan pictures to be shown in result. Can upload few pictures to show floor plans. Uh, ground floor, first floor, second floor. It means if I have uh, two-story buildings, two-story house, I can upload more than one uh, floor plan to be shown in my, my results. Okay, house plan picture for public. Okay, so this one is the 3D view or, or the perspective view. This for the public, public access. So I, I only upload one, one view of the house plan. Okay, uh, so public will view this picture. So this is a house plan picture for the staff. For the staff, I can upload uh, the rest of the perspective view. I can upload more than one. Okay, all right. So this is the house area. The house area in square meter and square feet. Okay, uh, it is linked. Uh, basically, if I were to enter the house area in square meter, it will automatically converting the value here into this uh, box uh, so the value will be will be shown accordingly if i were to choose meter it will show meter in meter square if i were to, were to choose a uh, fit 
uh, at the very beginning of my uh, software, uh, I will be shown the square feet in my result, right? Okay. So this one uh, is uh, very straightforward. Bedrooms, bathroom, number of bedrooms and math bathrooms. This one is a Dropbox links. Probably I have to manually enter the Dropbox links for each of the plans. Okay. This one is how plan house plan PDF for public. So for the public, I will upload a PDF containing picture of the floor plan as well as one view of the house for public use. Uh, this 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 dot uh, PDF will be used to to I guess to to send emails or to print something like that. Okay, uh, so the house plan PDF for staff uh, dot PDF uh, it will, will be probably two three pages, but it will be in one PDF file. Uh, I can upload inside this database, and then when I press email, it will send this uh, PDF to to my client, something like that. All right. Okay, so this is the database. So this this is the explanation for this draw house outline. I basically, uh, frankly speaking, I basically don't know how um, you will work out this part. But basically, this is the part where I can draw uh, the rectangular shape like uh, house outline of my house plan. Uh, so probably it, it probably use some kind, the same kind of drawing system used to draw the land where I have to put the uh, input of length of each side. Uh, so I don't know how you are going to do this, but this is one of the challenges. Uh, yeah, that is to draw the plan outline as well as to define which uh, line as the back, the right side, uh, left and the front sides. Uh, so this I will leave it to you how you're going to to uh, to work this out. All right. So uh, that's it. I hope uh, this uh, new uh, video will give you better under understanding of what I want. Uh, if you have another question, just drop me um, uh, a message. All right. Bye.